So yeah, so from diagnosis to freedom, your roadmap to diabetes remission, the first point is you should consult with a healthcare professional. You should schedule an appointment with your healthcare provider to discuss your goals for diabetes remission. Initially, previous days, the doctors used to prescribe a medication and then used to and used to send you to a home. And then they used to ask you to come back after three months or four months or six months. And people used to go back, come back, and you know, they used to go get on medications and go on forever, but never used to think about whether if diabetes can be remission. So nowadays, there are a lot of ways to get diabetes remission. In that one, the first step is to first to know about yourself. The first step itself is to know about your medical history, your current health status, your lifestyle factors. So you need to discuss your goals for diabetes remission. That is for sure. You can't escape it. And that is very important. And when I say that, you, you must understand one point. There, there, is, there is nothing called a, a magic pill or there is nothing called a magic wand that helps you to achieve diabetes remission. Yes, you need to have certain focus. You need to have certain understanding about the issue. You need to make sure that you uh, get a proper uh, a professional advice, a professional monitoring, or professional supervision. Without this, you can't achieve the remission. On your own, it is high risk that, sir, I've got the, I've got the niche of uh, the remission. I can manage on your own. On, I would like to try it for a month. I would like to try it for a couple of months. No. Don't, don't experiment on yourself. It is okay if you have experimented on the first few days, but not one year later, but not two years later. Because already two years is like already procrastination. So on top of procrastination, you would like to go forward another point of procrastination? No, because you have already delayed it. So don't delay that. So don't delay that. So providing a step-by-step -step guide to achieve and maintaining diabetes remission is what my main motto is for today. And people who are in pre-diabetic zone, people who are only hypertensive, only thyroid, only PCOD, this is also a way of it. It's not completely for diabetic people. It is one of the way that diabetes people can choose to get into freedom. This is your roadmap to remission of any of your issues, not only diabetes. You can apply these principles for any of your issues. Like say, for example, PCOS, you can apply the same principles. So you need to understand what diabetes is, especially what is remission is. So first of all, you need to educate yourself about diabetes. What is diabetes? Why is it affecting you? What are its causes? What are its symptoms and complications? You can't, you can't just get scared away from it. Don't get scared. See, being afraid is something. Being careful is something. There is just a small silver line in between this. You need to understand what exactly is being careful of. Don't get afraid. Never get afraid. If you be, if you get afraid, that's when you step back. I see it in many, many of my patients when they come and speak to me. They are very afraid at the beginning. But the point is, we give them that assurance because we have done a lot of reversals, we have done a lot of remissions, we have treated many people with high insulin uh, uh, patients who have reduced their medications, we have reduced the burden of medications. So we have done a lot of research among that. So yes, we know what exactly is happening. So point is, you you never 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 ever escape from it. You should always bombard it. You can't escape it. You should always bombard it. That's the whole point. And that's challenging. And if you take it as a challenge, you will be motivated. If you don't take it as a challenge, you will never be motivated. So challenging is everything. So you should learn about the concepts of diabetes remission, including different types of uh, criteria achieving it. So that's the main point. So you should focus on nutrition. You should adopt a balanced and nutritional uh, diet rich, which is in whole foods including fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, healthy fats. So, diabetes diagnosis in went and okay, healthcare professional, me consult kawali, me goals and discuss this kawali, me medical history not done just kawali, me current health status not done just kawali, low risk loanara, medium risk loanara, high risk loanara, me lifestyle factors good in not done just kawali. 
అసలు డయాబెటీస్ అంటే ఏంటి రెమిషన్ అంటే ఏంటి నాకు అవుతుందా లేదా సో డయాబెటీస్ గురించి ఎడ్యుకేషన్ కావాలి అవేర్నెస్ కావాలి దాని కాజెస్ ఏంటి సిమ్టమ్స్ ఏంటి కాంప్లికేషన్స్ ఏంటి కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఏంటి డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ క్రైటీరియా ఏంటి మనం రెమిషన్ కావాలంటే ఏమేం చేయొచ్చు ఇవన్నీ చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ న్యూట్రిషన్ మీద ఫోకస్ చేయాలి సో అడాప్టింగ్ అ బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ అండ్ న్యూట్రిషియస్ డైట్ దట్ ఈస్ రిచ్ ఇన్ హోల్ ఫుడ్స్ అండ్ ఇంక్లూడింగ్ అ ఫ్రూట్స్ వెజిటబుల్స్ లీన్ ప్రోటీన్స్ హోల్ గ్రెయిన్స్ అండ్ హెల్దీ ఫ్యాట్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ గైస్ సో యూ షుడ్ మానిటర్ యువర్ కార్బోహైడ్రేట్ ఇన్టేక్ అండ్ ఫోకస్ ఆన్ చూసింగ్ ఫుడ్స్ విత్ లో గ్లైసమిక్ ఇండెక్స్ ఫుడ్స్ విచ్ హెల్ప్ అస్ ఇన్ రెగ్యులేటింగ్ అవర్ బ్లడ్ సర్క్యులేషన్ విచ్ హెల్ప్ అస్ ఇన్ మేనేజ్ ద బ్లడ్ షుగర్ లెవెల్స్ యూ షుడ్ మానిటర్ దెమ్ so we have simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates right simple carbohydrates are the carbohydrates that goes into the body and fastly gets digested inside the body and sugar spikes are like ecg graph you ever see an ecg graph it's like a spike like that so you need to be careful about it you need to you need to more concentrate on your complex carbs you can't take it for granted yes you need to consume simple carbs for some time but the point of consuming the complex carbs is giving you energy sustained release throughout the day is very important rather than releasing your energy just at a time so that's the difference between simple carbs and complex carbs man simple carbs tinte fast ga ripotundi fast ga sugar levels spike avutayi complex carbohydrates tinte slow ga digest avutundi slow ga energy release avutundi throughout the day సో కాబట్టి కాంప్లెక్స్ కార్బోహైడ్స్ మీద కూడా కాన్సన్ట్రేట్ చేయాలి సింపుల్ కార్బోహైడ్రేట్స్ తీసుకోవాలి కానీ మనకు ఎంత అవసరం అంతే తీసుకోవాలి సో సింపుల్ కార్బ్స్ అంటే ఏంటి ఎనీథింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ వైట్ వైట్ రైస్ షుగర్స్ మైదా దిస్ ఆల్ ఆర్ వైట్ దిస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ సింపుల్ కార్బ్స్ పిండి పదార్థాలు అన్నీ కూడా లైక్ పొటాటోస్ దుంపలు దిస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ సింపుల్ కార్బోహైడ్రేట్స్ ఇవి తిన్న వెంటనే మనకి ఎనర్జీ వచ్చేస్తుంది బికాస్ ఫాస్ట్గా కరిగిపోతుంది ఫాస్ట్గా బాడీలో అరిగిపోతుంది అండ్ దెన్ షుగర్స్ కూడా స్పైక్ అవుతాయి సో ప్యాంక్రియాస్ చాలా ఎక్కువసేపు వర్క్ చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది వాటికి అదే కనుక కాంప్లెక్స్ కార్బోహైడ్రేట్స్ తీసుకుంటే ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ కాంప్లెక్స్ కార్బ్స్ దీస్ కాంప్లెక్స్ కార్బ్స్ హ్యావ్ అ వెరీ లెస్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఆన్ అస్ సో దాట్ ఇట్ హెల్ప్స్ అస్ ఇన్ రిలీజింగ్ ద సస్టైన్ ఎనర్జీ లైక్ యూ నో స్లోగా సో దిస్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అండ్ యూ షుడ్ కన్సిడర్ వర్కింగ్ విత్ అన్ న్యూట్రిషనిస్ట్ you can't take your see you can't go through a google you can't go through youtube whatever is mentioned and then just try on it on so high some high chances is that you sometimes your sugar levels might go very high some people try sir we have tried intermittent fasting i have done it from i'm doing it from past 6 months to 8 months so what is intermittent fasting i ask them they have zero idea about it they only know the definition of it but they don't know the pros and cons of following a intermittent fasting it should be done under a supervision it can't be taken for granted ఇంటర్మీడియట్ ఫాస్టింగ్ అది అంత ఈజీ కాదు చేయడం అందరూ చేయలేరు అది అండ్ అన్ని బాడీస్కి సూట్ కాదు అది యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ అండర్ సూపర్ సూపర్వైజ్ మేనర్ బికాస్ సమ్టైమ్స్ యువర్ బాడీ కెన్ గో ఇన్ టు డిప్రెషన్ స్ట్రెస్ బికాస్ యూఆర్ అవాయిడింగ్ వన్ యూఆర్ అవాయిడింగ్ సమ్ కాబ్స్ యూఆర్ అవాయిడింగ్ సర్టన్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ మీల్ సో న్యూట్రిషన్ తగ్గుతుంది వైటమిన్స్ అండ్ మినరల్స్ తగ్గుతుంది మైక్రో న్యూట్రియన్స్ తగ్గిపోతుంది so intermittent fasting varaku chavutare gaani dan tarvata em cheyalanna chadavaru so they don't know what what exactly needs to be done so this is very important guys so you should you should have a customized plan and you should you should cater your individual needs and preferences you should be catered with it me individual ga meeku eve issues unnai suppose okaliki ckd undi vaalla elanti elanti avoid cheyali heart issues undi vaalla elanti concentrate cheyali స్ట్రోక్ పేషెంట్స్ ఉన్నారు వాళ్ళు ఇలాంటివి చేయాలి అనేబుల్ టు సో గాల్ బ్లాడర్ తీసేసారు వాళ్ళు కొలిసిస్టమీ అయింది వాళ్ళు ఏం చేయాలి సో దే నీడ్స్ టు దే నీడ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ దర్ బాడీ దే కాన్ జస్ట్ టేక్ ఇట్ ఫర్ గ్రాంటెడ్ అండ్ గో హెడ్ విత్ సమ్ ఎక్స్వైజెడ్ యు నో ఎక్స్వైజెడ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ దే కాన్ డూ దాట్ డోంట్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ డూ అన్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ అండర్ అ సూపర్వైజ్డ్ పర్సన్ okay so next is you should prioritize your physical activity so when you prioritize your physical activity you should incorporate regular exercise into your daily routine aiming for at least 
150 minutes of this. This is what we say. Uh, we dietitians and nutritionists and physical uh, physiotherapists say you should at least have 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activities per week. We at least 150 minutes of activities are aerobic activities. So uh, there should be also a combination about it. Uh, you should also com combine uh, strengthening, strengthen training, strengthening training, and to improve your cardiovascular health and insulin sensitivity. So what is this insulin sensitivity? Many might ask, sir, we hear a lot of insulin sensitivity and insulin resistance. What is it? Insulin sensitivity is nothing. After consuming your food, your food converts into glucose. Glucose gets, glucose needs to enter into the cells with the help of insulin. This is, this process is insulin sensitivity. So if it is happening perfectly, your insulin sensitivity is good. If it is not happening and if your resistance is more, so resistance is where insulin is not acting as it is and it is not taking care of glucose and taking it into the cells. That is what is known as insulin resistance and that is what happens into main, ma many of our people. And that is what we are addressing. So insulin sensitivity and time on a glucose, cell slope velatum, insulin sahayamto. Insulin is a key lounge and the key door open just in cells key glucose or chill over question. E manabojan chase in the rata, man food to glucose in the converter, e prakriya jarutum. Epurai the insulin sariga a key mechanism on the sariga jaragat leather than a resistance antum. A sariga jarita than insulin sensitivity antum. So insulin sensitivity baga jarutuni and sugars control of coste. Resistance equine and the sugars equi put. So choose always choose activities that you can enjoy first. You should enjoy it. It's uh, very difficult. It's very difficult. No, you should enjoy it. First of all, if you enjoy it, you can do it for every day. If you don't enjoy it, you can't do it every day. First of all, you have to enjoy it. And you can sustain the long term. You can you can sustain for, sustain those exercises for a long term. And you can make those exercises a regular part of your lifestyle. So that is what you need to do. So every day, you know, na comfort zone lo, you know, enjoy just to, you know, just go get it, you know, equal role to play get it. You know, if you want I can't do it anymore. So this is what you need to understand, guys. You have to, you have to enjoy it. You have to uh, make sure that you enjoy it, and at the same point of time, you can sustain it. Okay. So what were the points that we need to remember? Consult with a healthcare professional. You should understand about your diabetes and remission techniques. You should under, you should focus on your nutrition. You should prioritize your physical activity. Okay. So E4 points are important. Next. So yeah. So Dr. Dev Pilleru, uh, sugars gurin telskunaru, me remission process gurin telskunaru, uh, nutrition follower and ardhva hindi, physical activity seal and ardhva hindi, tarvata in chayali. So tarvata, we should monitor our blood sugar levels. So, we should monitor our blood sugar levels. So, monitoring your blood sugar levels is very important. At least have a glucometer. Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, a, a, a place where you need to, um, you know, labs or something like that. You should have a small glucometer at your home. You can check it instantly. Let's say, for example, a person felt a little bit of uh, sweating from his head. Uh, if he started to have a lot of palpitations and he can hear his heart beat. So that is called as hypoglycemia. That's a symptom where your sugar levels are going down. So you can't run and you can't go to a, a 500 meters far away lab and then get your sugar tested out. You should test it as soon as possible. Unless and until you test it at your own place, you don't know what exactly is happening with you. Mikala sugar levels down in the symptoms and you can't be stretched. You can't be stretched. You can't be stretched. You should keep a track of your blood sugar readings. Identify the patterns to adjust your diet, exercises, medications whenever as needed. So, me sugar patterns are fluctuate out. So that's the reason nowadays we have the technology called CGMS, Continuous Glucose Monitoring System, which checks your sugar levels for 14 days, 24 by 7. That technology helps you to evaluate your body. So that is very important. So 
So you definitely have to follow your healthcare providers' recommendations. Many of you, I've seen many, not you, but many, many, I've seen many of them don't even bother about checking their complications because diabetes comes with five complications. Not, uh, what do you say? Um, it's just not about checking your sugars every now and then. Edo manam sugar level check chest kodan kaadu. Kallu paradal check chest call. Kallu check chest call. Padal check chest call. Kidneys low protein loss out in the check chest call. Ivanni check chest call. These are all very important points, guys. These are very important points. You should definitely take the recommendations given by your doctor. It's not to it's not to increase your tests. It is what is there for evaluating you. Unless and until we see what exactly is happening inside your body, how do you prevent which is better than cure? How do you do that prevention without knowing its cause? Miku cause deli kunda effect deli kunda me prevention ella chegaluka. Results a put results kawals in the so then process law will lay path low mana root kara important, path is also important. Now, destination reach I put on a leather, now 100 days remission I put on a leather. Yes, for some people, 100 days is quite enough, but for most of them, it takes more than 100 days. It depends from body to body. So, HBNC 14, 15. If people have HBNC of 14 and 15, it will take at least a year to come down to a normal place because it takes some time for us to remove medications consistently. So, don't force yourself. Don't uh, uh, think that you know your uh, your your body is not accepting. You should have that patience. Keep that patience. Keep that consistency. Definitely, you will see the results. See on uh, if you do workout for thirty days and don't see any result. High chance is that on thirty first day you might see one kilo of reduction of your body weight. People, many people. Step out of the issues on 30th days because they think that, oh my God, I've done it for 30 days. I don't see any change. Many people ask me that question, sir, it's been 15 days. I didn't lose a single pound or single kilo. So is, is diet working on me? So I say, you're not a potato. You're not, a, you're not like a potato peel. Like, you know, every day I peel off and then you get reduced. It's not like that. Every body is different. Your, your hormones are different. Your metabolism is different. So why five fingers are on not shape, same shape? Everything is different. So the point is, you should make some efforts, extra efforts, to make sure that you reach that point. And you get towards a healthy schedule for your body. You get healthy result for your body. You get a good goal, good set targets, short-term goals, long-term goals. So if I ask one person, what is your short-term goal? My short-term goal, first of all, is to reduce one medication at least. Or my short-term goal is to reduce at least 20 points of fasting sugar levels. In how many days? It might take a month. It might take a couple of months. But yes, it will definitely come down if you're consistent about it. Never ever give up. Please try to understand. Never ever give up. So if you give up in between, Majlona give up pictures say you're unable to see the result at the end. I, I have many, I have few patients with me who have been consistently doing this and consistently reducing their weight at least a kilo per month. But they have never given up. And they have brilliant results. They're enjoying the parties, they're enjoying the feast, they're enjoying the festival foods, but still their sugar levels are on track. Why is this happening? Because they are consistent in their efforts. They never did it very high, they never did it very low. They were consistent with it. So for you also, it will take some time. So give your body some time. Let everything get absorbed into it. Right? So when you when you light a, when you light a lamp, okay, if you have wicks, right? That wicks, that oil wicks. Mana, what to learn type? If a petting man, they will get chase a well go. 
ఆయిల్ దాంట్లోకి ఇంకుకోవాలి అప్పుడే దెన్ వీ కెన్ లైట్ దట్ ల్యాంప్ సో సిమిలర్ గా సిమిలర్ గా యువర్ బాడీ షుడ్ ట్రై టు హ్యావ్ ఆల్ దోస్ థింగ్స్ ఇంబైబ్డ్ ఇన్ టు యువర్ బాడీ దెన్ స్లోలీ ఇట్ విల్ గివ్ యువర్ రిజల్ట్ రైట్ సో గైస్ లెట్స్ డూ అ స్మాల్ టెక్నిక్ విచ్ ఇస్ అ స్ట్రెస్ బస్టర్ టెక్నిక్ దట్ వీ ఆల్వేస్ డూ ఎట్ ద బిగినింగ్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ సెషన్ బట్ లెట్స్ డూ ఇట్ నౌ so you all know the position but for new joiners i would like to tell them again sit straight keep your back straight like 90 degrees in a relaxed position you have to keep your back straight in a relaxed position 90 degrees if you are sitting in a couch just try to maintain a 90 degree spine position a little bit chin up like this a little bit chin up little bit chin up right and keep your hands on your thighs just straight keep your hands relaxed make your body relaxed slowly lift up your head and this is a breathing technique that we would like to do it's it's a 3 minute big breathing technique that we like to do so how you need to do is you have to inhale first so without making a sound you have to slowly inhale in and slowly exhale so in between inhale and exhale you need to have a grip of it you need to hold it you need to hold your breath for 3 to 5 seconds why you need to hold your breath for 3 to 5 seconds it will take out all the carbon dioxide from your body maximize the output of carbon dioxide from your body so when we inhale what do you inhale oxygen when you exhale what do you exhale carbon dioxide so this is a stress buster technique so people who are busy with their laptops people who are busy in their lifestyles they should do this at least once or twice in a day to make sure that this relieve their stress is at least while roju chese prakriya lo idi oka nimisham part cheyachu 3 nimishal part cheskochu roju lo rendu saal cheskochu ee prakriya ni inhale chesina appudu ante uper pilchukonali slow ga pilchukovali sound cheyakunda దాన్ని కొంతసేపు హోల్డ్ చేయాలి త్రీ టు ఫైవ్ సెకండ్స్ తర్వాత స్లోగా ఎగ్జైల్ చేయాలి బ్రీత్ని వదిలేయాలి సో ఇలా చేసినప్పుడు ఏమవుతుందంటే మనం ఇన్హేల్ చేసినప్పుడు ఆక్సిజన్ లోపలికి వెళ్తుంది ఎగ్జైల్ చేసినప్పుడు కార్బన్ డైఆక్సైడ్ బయటకు వెళ్తుంది సో ఈ టెక్నిక్ అనేది చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ సో లెట్స్ డూ ఇట్ గైస్ రెడీ రైట్ క్లోజ్ యర్ ఐస్ లిటిల్ బిట్ చిన్ అప్ ఇన్హేల్ స్లోలీ ఇన్హేల్ hold it hold it hold it hold it you will feel that tension you will feel that pressure building up inside your stomach in your lungs now slowly exhale when you do this your tummy should come forward and backward not your rib cage you should know your your body should not shake only your tummy should go forward and backward that's how you exhale complete carbon dioxide again slowly inhale hold it hold it hold it more hold more hold you feel that pressure you feel the tension now exhale slowly now inhale should be slow exhale should be fast slowly inhale your tummy should come forward it's like taking air inside into your tummy slowly hold it up hold it hold it exhale fastly 
Do it one more time, guys. One more time. Slowly inhale. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Exhale. Now rub your palms. Rub your palms faster. More faster. And then you feel that heat coming into your palm. You, you feel that heat. Rubbing your palms, you feel that heat. Slowly put it on your eyes. You see certain spots, you see certain stars blinking. You see certain checkers, you see clouds, you see clouds bursting up. Yes, that's a good. Again, again, rub your palms. Slowly put on your eyes. Don't open your eyes, guys. Don't open your eyes now. We're about to open our eyes. Just keep your palms again on your eyes do it three times rub your palms see rubbing your palms is a technique which involves taking a lot of positivity into your body slowly put it on your eyes so you feel relaxed slowly try to open your eyes Don't open it suddenly, slowly open your eyes, slowly. Take your time. Right? Relaxed? Stressed? Relaxed? You feel relaxed? Yes. Yes. Good, good. Then, so how many of you people remember the points that we have discussed till now? Anyone can just jot down the points, the topics that we discussed till now. Anyone would like to speak out? There are 30 participants I see. No one of you would like to participate? Let's like, uh, this is regarding how we have... Yes, please go ahead, step by step, what we discussed. What was the, What is the first point? What should a person do when they get diagnosed with diabetes? Sir, good morning, sir. This is Subhaya. Subhaya, please go ahead. Uh, sir, first of all, we have to consult a professional doctor, sir. Yes, very good. For diagnosis. Very good. That is the first issue. Right. Mm. Then diagnose properly according to the body system. Mm -hmm. And uh, to take medication and all. Mm -hmm. That is the first uh, step we have to take. Right. What is the next step? What should you do? The second point is understanding the diabetes and whether my body is able to remission. That is what you need to understand. That's the second point. Correct. What is the third point? After understanding about diabetes and remission, you should focus on nutrition. That's the third point. After focusing on nutrition, after getting to know about what do's and don'ts about nutrition, you need to prioritize your physical activity. So we discuss about doing at least 150 minutes of activity for every week, strength training and improving cardiovascular health, improving our insulin sensitivity, choosing activities that we enjoy is what prioritizing physical activity is about. Next is monitoring blood sugar levels. We should monitor our blood sugar levels every now and then using a glucometer at least or a CGMS that we have. We need to keep a track of our blood sugar readings and identify the patterns of the blood sugar readings and adjust our diet and exercises and medications as needed. If your sugars are coming down, it's a good point or a bad point? Uh, certain level, it is good point only, sir. But yes. uh, if it is going down for deeply, then it will be a problem because hypoglycemia will come. So what does hypoglycemia infer if you are on medications? Pardon? If you are on medications, yeah. if you see hypoglycemia, what does it infer? What does it say? 
uh, immediately you have to take uh, some certain uh, uh, increase the steps for uh, diabetic i mean sorry sugar levels that we will do but what does it mean dan artham enti mana sugar levels padipothunayi mana medications med unnamo mana sugar levels baaga padipothundi ante artham enti how should you understand it let's say for example a patient is on two medications his fasting levels are 80 and post lunch is also 80 so what does it mean in uh, we need to reduce the medication i guess yeah exactly so that's a very positive point that if you are getting hypoglycemia right so me sugars down i put that it's a positive point so you need to reduce medication dosages if you are on medications if you are not on medication still your sugar levels are growing down that is called as reactive hypoglycemia you have to seek doctor's help you have to seek nutritionist help okay so that is different this is different so there is some difference between both of them you need to make sure that you understand the difference okay now why did we do this exercise now why did we why did we took some time to take breath why did we concentrate on our breathing why did we do that deep yes, breathing yes, breathing? Yes. Yes, yes. yes, good. Our next point is managing stress and mental well-being. This is very important in managing your diabetes. That's the reason I made you practice this session. So in our busy lives, you forgot, you, you we forget to think about our breathing. Mano e busy life low, roj low, asla manam breathing asal sarika much This is very important. So, manam, inhaling and exhaling sarigga chest nama leda. Because inhaling and exhaling sarigga unta asal man kelaan tissue se rao. Abhi sarigga leen apde man chala issue saste. Because you breathe lot of carbon dioxide and you keep it inside your body and you never let it out properly. So, lot of carbon dioxide cook out unta unta It is building up. Which is not good for our body. So, cellular level lo jarga sin koni processes sarigga jarga. Free radicals are form hypothai, cancer causing agents. So detoxification jargal, toxins form hypothai. Your body starts forming a lot of toxins inside us. So that's the reason we have to practice stress management techniques such as deep breathing, uh, at least meditation, some yoga, and mindfulness. So mindfulness is one technique, you know, which whatever you do at that point of time, you have to stop everything doing from that. And you should relax a bit. That's what mindfulness is all about. This improves our mental well-being. Or else continuously, if, or if you're sitting, sir, continuously have to sit in front of my system, sir, or else my manager will not accept me. You tell your manager, sir, if I want to, if I if you want me to work for the next 10 hours, I have to take a couple of minutes of break and have to I have to uh, take a deep breath exercise. I have to do this. My my healthcare professional advised me to do this to manage my stress. So you also do with me. Your, your stress also will come out. Okay, you can take your manager uh, for the same uh, meeting and then you can ask him to or ask him or her to do the same technique and they'll feel relaxed. Okay. You manage your manager. Everything will be sorted. Okay. Then you have to prioritize your self-care activities that promote relaxation uh, and rejuvenation is what I say. So spending some time in the outdoors, cultivating some new habits, like maybe, I don't know, like gardening or um, or planting some plantations nearby your area. Just, uh, it's not only about, you know, it's not always you go out with your friends to restaurants or, um, you know, to pubs or uh, places and then have a shots or, it's not that. You should do something apart from that some social responsibility because you only feel connected with your loved ones if you do such things you don't feel connected if you do the routine things uh try to go to a, some uh, some some cattle shelter feed them 
you go, you, there are a lot of cattle shelters here and there. You go there, feed them with grass, feed them with food. There are there are a lot of orphanages. There are a lot of old age homes. Just go and sit with them and talk with them and come back. You you still feel how lucky you are and then you know how better we are right now. So something like that. I'm just giving an example. You not you might, may not not be doing all those things, but something related to you, something other than what we do. This is how you manage your stress and mental well-being. If weekend comes, you just don't go out and see a movie. See watch a movie. One week you watch a movie. One week you do some reels. One week you have some nice time with your family. Sit all sit together and spend some time and discuss about all your childhood memories. This itself will relax your uh, stress. We never bother about discussing our childhood or discussing that those cute moments with our family members. We never do that. You have to start doing that. Doing all these things will manage your stress and mental well-being. Agree? So, promise me that you people will do this from now onwards. At least one activity, and making sure that you learn something new go to some music classes learn something new learn drumming learn keypad or learn some guitar which i don't know i mean it's your hobby your interest in your childhood you might be having lot of interest to do you might be wanting to learn boxing you might be wanting to learn karate kung fu i don't know whatever it is judo whichever it is boxing something like that or or you know just Uh, which are it's which are makes you happy try to do it some people might be good at you know giving voices so try to that okay so and next point is very important it's about see if you need result if you need a proper ans if you need a proper if you need to reach a proper target what do you need what is that one thing that you need if you need to get result can anyone answer manaki result raavali ante em cheyali one thing undali adi what is that can anyone answer no one to answer patience is here patience yes then with patience what should be there willingness to do things what else apart from it good willingness what else dedication what else confidence sir yes good point but more than that what else how does your confidence build up how does Commitment, your uh, willing how does your will builds up sorry commitment how does your commitment build up sir dan gurinchi clear ga ardham ayinappudu ivanni vastayi sir so what is it how do you know how do you get to know about all those things sir first trust undali sir trust kanna inka enti trust ela vastundi you should have a goal sir sorry we should have a goal I of mean, course you need to have goal how do you set goals how do you achieve goals with what thing you achieve goals shall i tell you the answer you should be consistent with the process that is what you need without consistency you can't reach a target can you practical yeah that's what consistency is the is the answer for every problem you should have consistency you should be consistent at the same point of time you should be persistent agree yeah right so unless and until you are consistent with your process you can't start having will you can't start having confidence you can't start having uh, adherence you can't start having all whatever you said right now agree so consistency and patience these are the two things that you require to get maximum out of 
whatever issue, whatever process that you do. So be consistent with your healthy lifestyle habits. Be consistent with whatever changes that you have started to do recently, including like diet, exercise, medication adherence, and stress management. Recognize that achieving any remission may take time and perseverance. And be patient with yourself throughout the process. You should be first patient with yourself. You should celebrate the small victories that you get. You have lost one kilo in two weeks. You have to celebrate that. Previously to your lifestyle, you didn't even lose that. But now you started to lose one kilo for every week. It's a small victories that you're celebrating. You should celebrate those small victories along the way and focus on making sustainable changes for long-term success. Do you all agree or not? Right. So celebrating small successes, celebrating your short-term goals, celebrating your small-time victories. This is very important. You should tap yourself like you've done a great job. Apart from yourself, I don't know. I mean, if you share that you're you're losing your weight, your, your friend might your friend might support you in your success. Or your, your partner might, your spouse might support you in your success. So everything adds up to everything. So small things, small victories gives you a longer result. Directly, you can't jump from first first step to tenth step. You should you should go the ladder, you should go through to through the ladder. One step at a time, step by step. Staying consistent and persistent is very important. Mere consistent go term. Persistent gaunatam, patience gaunatam, chala important. Chinichinna victories in mir celebrate chess call. Chinichinna targets in reach and up you should tap your mir mimal, mir bujam mire tatkoni, mir sabash and call. So mimal mir motivate chess ko pote first. Wherever mimal ella motivate chess. Sarne ne pri in te sarne ne nta try chess na in te sar. No, you should never ever give up. Next year, low plan and get then better of Ali. But Antavarkun and consistent Gondali Antavarkun and persistent Gondali Nikunja time this no parle, but then last year to compare just could year kunja better and at least thirty per cent better and that is something better. Zero per cent, thirty per cent, which is better? Thirty per cent is better or zero per cent is better? Which one is better, sir? Which one is which one is better patience? Patients, patients better. Huh? Patient going to wait chase to zero percent. Thirty percent is better. Thirty percent is better. Something is better than nothing. So last year the compare just kunte year thirty percent achieve chase aru ante. That is something better that you did a great job. Yes. Good. Okay. So yeah. So this is. Part one, guys. Tomorrow, uh, next session, next week session, we'll be discussing part two. So now is the time to ask me questions. So next five minutes, I'm giving you time to ask me questions related to the topic that we discussed today. Any other topics that you have, we will discuss on one-on-one -on -one session. Any questions that we had on today's session, please ask me about it. So how many of you felt relaxed after doing this stress busting technique? How many of you did feel that? Yanta mandi ki a relaxation and which in the manaches and relaxation technique wala. I see only one. How many of you? No one, no one did feel, no one did feel that. Okay, you can put it in your chart. So this is what you need to do every now and then. Miri chinna technique. Whenever you feel, whenever you feel stressed out, if you do this, you can definitely uh, feel that freshness. You can feel that adrenaline rush. You can feel that soothing. You can feel that blissfulness. So this is very important. 
right harsha you can ask me uh, is there any doubt that you would like to you raised your hand 